financial standpoint, one of the great things that every farmer has that he can take advantage of is cash accounting. With cash accounting, it allows you to lower your income basically whenever you want it in a, a given fiscal year. Well, we've got that fiscal year end coming up real soon for most farmers. It's the calendar year end, December 31. So the big question right now is, do I want to prepay? How much should I prepay? Why should I consider prepaying this year? 2016 was a little bit challenging for some. Yields were really good for others. And now 2017 is a new year. Do you know how it's going to be exactly? No, you don't. 2017 is completely uncertain. We haven't raised the crop yet. There's a long ways until that crop will be harvested. So you kind of have to play the odds. And that's what's great about cash accounting is, hey, you know what? You can sell all your grain in 2016, or you can hold it all till 2017. You can pay for all your expenses now, or you can pay for them later. You've got that flexibility here to make some adjustments. All right, when we ask the question, why prepay? There are really three main reasons. Number one, it's to reduce taxes. Now, when I say that, a lot of non-farmers hear that and they go, oh, you farmers are able to get out of taxes. No, we don't get out of anything. All we're doing is pushing the bill off a little bit. And quite frankly, the government wants us to do that. Because just think about it. The only way that a farmer can reduce his tax bill is he has to spend money. That puts money in the economy. And how many times do they say that money turns? Something like seven times in the economy. So it's a great thing to stimulate the economy. The next thing, and the reason why you might want to prepay, whether you do it before the first or after the first, you can get better deals. Almost every company out there has a cheaper offer to buy the same stuff right now as what they will in season. So buy early and get a better deal. And finally, supply. There are some things that are a little limited in supply, so the earlier you pay for something, typically the better chance you have to get it. Every once in a while I'll talk to a farmer who will say, well, I don't want to prepay because then I'm going to get in that rut where I have to prepay every year. I look at it this way, hey, if you're going to buy those inputs anyway, and you could buy them cheaper in some cases. 10% cheaper than you're going to do in the spring, why on earth would you wait? Why wouldn't you want to get into that pattern where you're always taking that advantage? Uh, instead of being the guy that, well, I'm going to wait until later and it may cost me a little bit more and it's going to cost me more every year from here on out. I really like that cost advantage. That's a huge one, even putting taxes aside. So far, we've talked about all these different benefits, and let's not forget, it, it, we didn't, really didn't mention this too much specifically, but in terms of that delaying the tax bill, if you can delay your tax bill every single year, you just think about what that adds in in total. So let's say you're paying 25% tax and you're able to save that 25% of your money each year based on whatever your opportunity cost for money is, that's a lot of money. Okay, so there are just so many different benefits to prepaying. That's all great, but we got to talk a little about the negative things. If you're going to put your money with someone, in most cases you have nothing for collateral. So our suggestion is either take product immediately or make sure you're working with a retailer you can absolutely trust. So when you show up next spring, they'll have your product because without collateral, what are you going to do? If they just disappear, they go bankrupt, that's the biggest fear whenever I'm thinking about prepaying. The other thing is just getting your plans out of the way. It's so nice when you can plan things in advance. Now you can set everything else into motion on your farm because you know, hey, here's exactly what I'm doing for seed. Here's exactly what I'm doing for crop protection. Uh, I've got the tillage plan underway. Everything is set for my farm. You can get everyone on your farm operation onto the same page if you've got multiple people to work with. That's all great, but let's talk about what happens when things go wrong. Let's say you have flooding. Let's say you have drought. Let's say for whatever reason you need to change your cropping plans. This is another thing. Whenever you prepay, make sure you're talking to your supplier so you can switch products at that same good prepay price. Or worst case scenario, if you need to get your money back, you can do it plus interest. Well, there are a lot of things to think about when you go into your prepaid decision making time. But right now, there's no question the best deals of the year are happening. It certainly makes sense to be looking at these things for your farm and considering the financial impacts. One other thing you'll definitely have to be thinking about is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next. <music>